Hey guys, Cam here from Pocket Lint, and as you probably know, the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL are out, complete with Android 8 Oreo. So we decided to put together a list of a few of the more useful tips and tricks that you can make use of in your phone. Now it's worth noting that some of these might be different once Android Oreo comes to different devices, but these are the ones that we found in the pure plain stock Android that's on the Pixel 2. Number one is activating the cool now playing feature. When activated, your phone can recognize what music is playing in the room and display the name and the artist on your lock screen. Head to settings, then sound, and then tap advanced, then switch on now playing. Number two is having navigation appear in a little picture in picture floating window. Head to Google Maps, search for your destination, and then start navigation. Then press your home button and it'll automatically show you navigation in a miniature window on the display. Number three is those app icon notification dots. By default now you'll notice little dots on top of your app icons when you've got notifications. Long press on the app icon with a dot, now you'll see shortcut options and a notifications tab. If you tap on the notification preview it'll take you to that message or update in whatever app that is or you can swipe to dismiss it and get to the next one if you have multiple. Number four is adding a button to manually activate HDR+. One of the Pixel's best features is Google's amazing HDR Plus camera technology that makes great photos from less than ideal conditions. By default it comes on when it needs to, but if you want to switch it on manually, Open the camera, go to the sidebar menu and hit settings and then advanced, then toggle the manual HDR switch. Now you'll be able to switch it on or off whenever you like. Number five is swiping the fingerprint sensor to get notifications and quick settings. If you head to settings, system, languages, input and gestures, then tap advanced and toggle the option to enable swiping. Now when you swipe down on your fingerprint sensor, you'll bring down the notification and quick settings shade. Number six is activating or disabling motion photos. These are basically like Apple's live photos. Just open the camera app and tap the little icon that looks like a solid circle inside a ring. You can deactivate the effect by doing the same or go into photos after you've taken them and deactivate them in there. Number seven is screen pinning. Let's say you want to show something to a friend but don't want them to snoop around the rest of your phone. Screen pinning is your friend in this instance. Go to settings, security and location, then screen pinning and switch it on. Now when you open an app, you open the recent apps view, scroll to the bottom and hit the pin icon. Now whichever that last app was is locked on the screen and the only way to get it off is by pressing and holding the recent apps and back buttons together. And then you have to unlock the phone with your pin, passcode or fingerprint scan. Number eight is typing within Google Assistant. Instead of using your voice, you can just type by tapping the little keyboard icon and then typing away. Number nine is using Google Lens. Now this doesn't seem to be in Google Assistant yet, at least not in our devices, but if you go to photos and tap the icon that looks like a square inside a circle, it'll use Google search power to try and recognize the object. Sadly, in most instances, this hasn't been working so well for us. Number 10 is the Easter egg. Go to settings, then system, about phone, and then tap a few times on the Android versions tab. Now tap repeatedly, then long press on the O icon that appears. Now you have the Easter egg, which this year is an octopus, which you drag around the screen for some reason. Number 11, there's a secret menu button on the Pixel 2. Open any app with a side menu, then tap the area to the right of the recent apps button, and boom, it's a secret menu. Number 12, and lastly, is setting a dark theme. Now this isn't a specific setting as such, all you need to do is make sure that you set a really dark wallpaper on your phone and then your notification drawer and your app drawer becomes a black background. Similarly, if you choose a really light wallpaper then things like your clock and your home back and recent buttons become dark. It's really cool and it adapts to whatever you choose. So that's it, I hope those have been useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of our videos and hit that thumbs up button, that'd be awesome. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter and Instagram and don't forget to check out pocketlint.com for more coverage of the Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL as well as all other manner of consumer electronics. I'll see you again soon.